very sorry, but A don't talk scarecrow language. A was brought up too nice. Will you marry me? Certainly not. What for, certainly not? Because you're ugly and stupid. Anyone can see that. <laughs> if you'd live with the Romleys as A have done, they'd have chucked you on a bonfire right quick. Oh, don't, don't mention that word, Missy. Call me stupid and ugly if you like, but never mention bonfires. Oh, so busy. Big bonfires. No, 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 don't mention that word. Flames. Like, what's up? Would you marry me? I might. We shall have to see. It's me, Marisol. And... <laughs> Just a minute, Mr. Peters. I've had my eye on this chap for some time. Just wait the car in here. Let go of me or I'll jab you with my hat pin. With this to the rest, I need you in place. What? And so it wouldn't fall to cut me off here. Come on, you'll get six months for this, this underwear. Oh, oh, hey, just a minute, come here. My Aunt Sally's missing. One thing at a time, Mr. Shepard, if you please. One thing at a time. No, come you down here. Oh, get down. Yes? Oh, a common peddler selling flowers. Be so good as to take them round. He told me you was working here. Working here? Working? I've never done a day's work in my life, I thank you. Any question? You don't say how many jelly, you say how much jelly. You get half, same as me. That's the same as a quarter. Only my quarter's a bit bigger than your quarter, cos this happens to be my house. But you're only a silly scarecrow. I am an Aunt Sally. I've been exhibited in the best fairgrounds in England. I've had wooden balls thrown at me by the landed gentry in person. I'm very sorry, but I could only marry a gentleman. Oh, I could be a gentleman, Aunt Sally. I, I, I could be a gentleman. Let's see if it fits. I don't think it's polite for people to change their reds in company. Well, don't look, then. Now, here goes. One. I have a solution. I'll stay in the barn and you can sleep in the pig's trough. <laughs> in the pig's trough? Why not? You should feel quite at home. If I do go to this chair in the briny, I don't know who this person is, but if it is any of her business, I was floating to Egypt. I was going to marry an Egyptian prince, you know. Then some busybody comes along and fishes me out with a boot hook. Next minute I know I'm having wooden balls thrown at me head again. Yeah, but they're all barbie. Well, what are you going to do now, me artist? Free? Free? I don't see any wee. I only see my beautiful self and a dirty old scarecrow. <laughs> don't take the notice of her. <laughs> She's just having a little joke. She sees you all right. Well, she may have lost her paint, but she ain't gone cross-eyed. You don't understand the rules of polite society. If you'd been brought up proper, as I have, you would know that this person doesn't exist until we've been introduced. Oh. So go on, Eerie. And who's your family, may I beg leave to ask? Did you fall out of a basket of clothes pegs when you was little? Or were you carved by an humble woodcarver what was learning his trade? My family, dear, goes back to the Vikings. You see this face of mine? It's been handed down. Oh, I see. So you're going to cast me off like a broken lobster pot? There is a resemblance, now you mention it. I wasn't talking to you. Oh, 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 wait for me, shit, mate! Right. <laughs> 